Good morning, everyone. Today we're gonna to do something different. We're gonna do a throwback episode. And right now we're standing in front of my first new construction project ever. This actually wasn't just a new construction project. It involved running 300 feet of gas, 100 feet of water main and building a brand new road. And I'm gonna break down for you how I was really just a kid and I was in way over my head and how I dug myself out of that hole. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory. This is actually the first new construction project I ever did and the one across the street's the second one. And when I set out to do this project, there was no second one involved. But this was something that we had seen for sale. It was an off-market deal. And me and my buddies used to sit around and talk about how awesome it would be, how epic it would be to get ourselves involved in something like this. And um, one day I was just like, screw it, let's just do it. And what I didn't know at the time was how difficult it would be to turn this paper street into an official road and how much it would cost to bring a water main and a gas line. Uh, it was, I was actually in so deep that I had to knock on this person's door and at the time there was no road here there was just a little gravel driveway and I knocked on this person's door and I was like listen I really gotta buy this property and timing is, is crucial right and it turned out that this bungalow was owned by the person who owned the house behind it and he was renting it to his daughter and his son-in-law and they were moving out to buy a house in North Belmore so the timing worked out and I convinced him to sell me this house we made a deal on a handshake and the rest is history. So this was all just woods, okay? We actually changed what Google Earth and Google Street View looked like. We're gonna superimpose that image on top and show you what it looks like, but what seemed like an exciting idea and something worth pursuing really turned into a nightmare for me. Um, I had, at that time, to my name, about 300 and change, okay? This lot cost me two and change. I had $100,000 left over. And that's definitely not enough to build a house like this, okay? And so I invested that money with my buddy who was on a super crazy tear trading currencies. One day I was with him and you know, this is high risk stuff, but I was sitting there in Florida watching him trade and he made like 12% that day. And I was like, okay, this is obviously not sustainable, but if I can have a nice little run and turn that 100 into something a little bit more, I'll have to borrow less and be able to build this house without much outside investment. So now it's 2014, I lost the entire $100,000 that I had left over. Basically didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. This was still a jungle and I had no money to build that house and I had to go out and raise the money to build this house and dig myself out of an unbelievably deep hole. I gave you all the adversity, now let me tell you about the come up. This first house, I was able to get into contract before the foundation was even complete. I found a private buyer, we made a deal. This person actually called me at like 10 o'clock at night, but I always answer my phone, and one thing led to another. A few weeks later, we were in contract. Now, I told you that I bought the house behind me, and obviously, if I didn't have the money to build this one, I definitely didn't have the money to build this one. And there was a gentleman that had come to a couple of my open houses. Before this first new construction, I had done a couple reconstructions with the extensions and the dormers. Uh, I had done a couple of flips. So I met this gentleman, he came to a couple of my open houses and he had expressed some interest to get involved with me. And um, now that I needed his help, I called him up and I'm like, listen, if you really wanna get involved, I have this house, I'm fully invested with every penny to my name across the street, why don't you jump in on this one? You can have 100% of the equity. And I sort of devised my uh, investment structure from there. And to this day, this gentleman's my biggest investor. And we sold this one too very, very early during the construction. Sold this one immediately when it was complete. Got this road paved and that was a huge hurdle by itself. But we got the paper street signed off. We got the house COs for both houses, sold them both. And my first new construction project was definitely a heck of a lot more than building one house. But because of that experience, I'm really not scared of anything anymore. And it really just changed my mindset going forward on what is manageable and what isn't manageable as far as the project goes. I'm really glad I was able to take all of you and show you my first new construction project and explain some of the adversity that came along with it. It kind of seems like now I, I run from project to project and just bang these out and sell them. And of course there's speed bumps even in those projects, but in order to even get to this point where it seems like things are going smooth, there was so much heartache and just pain in general. But um, once again, I really, I'm really glad I was able to share that experience. And thank you very much for watching. 
If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate, constantly updating you guys with the current projects that I have and the deals that I'm working on. Have a great day, everyone.